I come at the project spot, this is Sir P. Now today I'm going to be talking about one of the most audacious stunts I've seen in a while. This is crazy even by Ironman standards. But consistency matters. I can tell you know why even though I think the stunt the taxi man pull off is quite simply absurd. The actions of the government actually lends credibility to what they do. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around and hear this one. Before I'm going further, I want to send a special Patreon birthday shout out to none other than Shereen aka Potos. Patreon member since June 2020. And if you've been around with the movement for a while, you know, said June 2020 was a very interesting time. Remember, that is when all of your favorite celebs, social media influencers, big YouTubers, they claim say, they were going to cancel me and write off the movement. Well, we all saw how that one turned out. Shereen, big up yourself. I know it's your birthday yesterday, but as I'm telling all the time, Patreon squad, you don't have to link me from early and link me on Patreon because email is often very crowded and by the time you get your email, it might be a day or two after the birthday. So Shereen, hope you had a great day, big up yourself and enough respect soon. We can move into the video. We have a play a video clip. No one will probably see it by now. But this video clip is of somebody who clearly thinks they them own the title. An actual title of Chief Duffy Conqueror Esquire. The right honorable Duffy Conqueror because I must that him think. You're going to see a man dealing with adults like say, them a pitney. You're going to see me sticking at him on like he was prepared to beat adults like some of me. This is the reality of Ironman. Everybody upset. But I'm going to step right past the emotions and get down to the nitty gritty. Because we know why things are this happen. Even though people act as surprise, we don't know what I'm surprise for. This is the culture of Iron Man. Let me play the video clip and let me get back to him. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Come on, Tali. You're a little young one, man. So, one, man. You're not around for the rest of the thing. I'm playing, playing, boy. I'm not around for the bum buckler. No, within a couple of hours of that video surfacing, we hear it say, police hold on for him. We see him transform. From Big Bad Duppy Conqueror to a girl's guy. Matter of fact, let me take that back. That is offensive to the girl's guide community. It's an insult to compare that clown to the girl's guide. The man transform in a big crybaby. This is how your typical bully operate. Big and bad until somebody actually put them at them place. Then you see them start ball. Then you see them turn victim at the year. But don't be surprised if in a day or two you hear you say he was the one that was wrong. And then you start to see the whole thing come out and tell you say, we're too harsh. Take time with him. We have to understand, say. All kind of madness. But just want to ask people about Jamaica some before we get into the nitty gritty. Me say, citizens of Jamaica, square up. With the JCF, screw up with the JDF, male and females, even teenage girls, fight security forces. But a man with a sticky knife on and a polo shirt, right, make him submit. A man with a polo shirt and a stick make him comply. But I could have swear say, a police and soldier only fear the most. So only can fight police and soldier, but you not know, take bad up for a man with stick. And polo shirt. It looks like the government has been wasting money buying all this camouflage and all this denim. Buying all these rifles and helmets. Just dress the police in a polo shirt and stick and it looks like say people will just comply. Listen, we know the narrative is foolishness. Jamaicans don't fear no police. Jamaicans fear 87s. They fear gangs. The narrative is completely false. 
the idea that Jamaicans are walking around scared because I don't want to interrupt with the police because I'm afraid for my life. Unicorn me, people fight the police all the time. But one time, a man who them just think is a bad man. Them don't know if my real bad man that them just think say. Right, he must some kind of bad man, I even link to one. He said, come out of this. People just put on them head and walk right past. Interesting. No, I'm not saying they should have a fight him. But Jimmy can't claim say, they may take talk from nobody. But that's not true. Them just not in a talk from nobody in a den and camouflage and khaki uniform. All I'm saying is, it's not adding up. Now, before we really start breaking this thing down and tell you why the actions of the government actually help give credibility to the demands of the taxi man them, right. let me address the taxi man them. You see them stunt here on our pool? It don't hurt politicians. It does not affect any MP or senator in a government. None. Umbre don't take taxi. Mark Bolden or his Chang now stand up and wait for the taxi. Do you know who you affect when you do things like this? You affect working class people. You affect poor people. You affect 9 to 5 people. These are the people you hurt the most with this kind of stone. It is not affecting the Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition, Minister of this, Minister of that. None of them. Not even for a second it affects them. People who are trying to get to them appointments, people who are trying to get to work, people trying to get to school, that's who you affect. That's who you're hurting. Now, maybe you don't care, but rest assured, the Jamaican public are slowly and surely losing patience with Taximan. And I see when I enjoy myself on a party, it's all fun and games, sure. Maybe because there's not much alternative right now, it go in a certain leverage for me to deal with people like this. But I don't know how Taximan for a celebrate. Right, the fact say so much people stranded, can't go home, can't go work, all kind of madness. I think in the end, like most things, the people will have the last laugh. And just so we're clear, I support peaceful protests. But there's nothing peaceful about me see. Me see other taxi man I get them windscreen broke because they don't want to support the protest. Me see other taxi man I get them car tire slash because they don't want to support the protest. So what kind of message do I send? You're helping to destroy the vehicle right, of the people them who did the same job like you. You're helping to destroy the livelihood right, of your co-workers. Literally, your co-workers. If another man disagree with you and say, him not depend on that, you're going to mash up in vehicle. This is straight out badness you push. Do as I say or you're going to get hurt. This is you showing say, you're not willing to negotiate. You're not willing to make people think and act like free citizens. However, you want the freedom to do what you want to do. You should be free to protest, but the next man is not free to not be a part of that protest. Nobody should fling stone and broke up your car because you say you not drive, but you must fling stone and broke up my car because him say him want to drive. No, Santi can't think so. So your right is more important than the next man right. Your right to protest right, is greater than the next man right to not be a part of your protest that him think is a Mickey Mouse protest and him don't agree with. So when I go mash up man car, slash man tire, when he can't take on the stands. But the things that I see man I do to other taxi man who don't support it. Things that I see people I do to the passenger them. As I say, in the end, this is going to affect enough taxi man when I laugh and I celebrate now but you will not have the last laugh the perception and ratings for taxi man by the Jamaican public is at an all time low right now maybe you don't care maybe you don't say well you have to take taxi so you can do alright enjoy yourself now let me talk about 
the actions of the government and how it actually help give credibility to a taxi man madam. Now, let me just say this. Whether it's a teacher in our classroom, a parent at home, a leader of any form, you have to understand consistency matters. The government has come out and say they're not giving to the taxi man amnesty. Rightfully so. I would not budge an inch. You are not going to shut down the country's right, roadways, make people miss work, miss school, late for this, late for that, because you want amnesty. I would not budge an inch. But you know what I would also not do? Give any kind of gun amnesty either. Taxi man I demand amnesty because we are in the middle of a gun amnesty. And all the taxi man them look on it, if you can give gunman amnesty, why wouldn't you give me an amnesty for traffic tickets? When illegal gun is much worse than traffic tickets. The inconsistency of the government help boost up taxi man to pull off this stunt. If the government they draw a hard line at the sun and say New law, anybody get catch with illegal firearm, 15 years. And done the argument they saw, taxi man don't have a leg to stand for. But the government, in their attempts for a peace walk to this, to not come across as harsh, you know, the wee, wee. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we're going to do, here we're going to do. We're going to bring in the law, but we'll give them two weeks. That kindness is now being interpreted as weakness. One if you listening to me. I tell them about the why, why, why. Bring in the law, call it a day. People already have right, a cash free gun scheme. If they want to hand over a firearm, do it this way. But by giving an amnesty, by saying you can hand in your illegal firearm and nothing not come out of it, it opens up the window for the taxi man to say, Alright then, let me hand in my ticket them and nothing not come out of it. Because clearly, the precedence has been set. Clearly, you believe in leniency. Consistency matters. After you get out of your feelings, you will see. Right? What I'm saying makes perfect sense. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot go around giving one group of people leeway and then think say, our next group now go ask for it. A teacher in our classroom cannot say, you five picnic or so, only can play on phone and phone in the class, but you next 35 picnic, you cannot. It's not going to work. You have to be consistent. There was simply no need for a gun amnesty. But by establishing the gun amnesty and telling people, say, you can hand in your firearm, no consequences. You think the rest of the people in the classroom now sit down and watch that? You think other students now sit down and go, oh, I saw it go. So now taxi man has said, hey, since you're in the business of handing out amnesties, give me one too. And if you don't give me one, I'm going to throw a tantrum. This is what's happening. Taxi man are throw a tantrum. This is an adult tantrum. Because them see you are giving one pitney special treatment. You are tell people the legal gun say we bring it in and I eat that no consequences. People are going to want to get the same treatment. Then you are going to hear all kind of groups start say hey, do we want amnesty too? After all, you are in the business of giving out amnesties, right? You are in the business of being lenient. So why do you want to be lenient with me? The taxi man them stunt is absurd. I would never give in an inch to what they demand. But I would also never give out no gun amnesty. Because what is good for the goose is good for the gander. People are going to start rationalize that, hey, if an illegal gun can get amnesty, then what me I do can worse than that. So why wouldn't I get an amnesty? You think it's a coincidence this is happening now in the middle of the gun amnesty? It's set a bad precedent and even though in theory being lenient 
should make people respect you more and say this person right is so lenient i am grateful thank you won't do it again the reality is it actually makes people go oh himself like porridge people don't respect leniency especially in Ariman. people don't respect right, kindness people don't respect second and third chances people see that and take you for fool leniency is for people who normally behave well and then slip up one time and you say well you have a history of good behavior right going back to the whole school analogy you have a child that is normally a good student and then them slip up one time and you say well because they have a history right of being a good student they're going to be lenient leniency is not for the people who come to school come terrorize class every single day so when you get 87 leniency when you give money legal gun amnesty you think other people now go ask people that is inconsistent this is all about appeasing woke to this there is no need for a gun amnesty for some reason jamaican leaders are incapable of making a decision and standing by it and if the public reject your decision resign because clearly they don't want what you have to offer resign but them can't resign and they won't resign so instead what them do flip flop all right all right wee, wee. all right all right because the most important thing to them is just being in power so them can't take a stance them can't have a mandate and follow it notice how politicians work in our countries like the uk every minute they say them resign do you know why because a politician has a mandate and he said, this is what I'm going to do. She said, this is what I'm going to do. If the public reject it, what them do? They resign. They don't flip flop. They don't, wee, wee, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, me get it. I'm sorry, right? Since you don't believe in my mandate, I will step aside and make the person who you want to work with get the job. But Jamaican politicians don't want to step aside. So what them do? Them talk tough and then when them hear, wee, wee, them say, all right, all right, so what amnesty here? All right, all right, Silicia. All right, all right. Even if the country is being burnt to ashes, one step here, wee, wee. All right, all right, all right. Because nobody now want to risk their career. Grow some cajones. When time you start being lenient and give man bly and give man bly, other people are going to want bly and want bly. And if you don't give them blight, they're going to throw a tantrum. The taxi man might throw a tantrum because they want the same amnesty where you get to So when the government come out and put out statements that they're not going to tolerate the amnesty and they're not giving to the amnesty because of lawlessness, that's fine, except you're in the middle of an amnesty for gun. Illegal gun. So right now, the taxi man might say, we don't believe you. That is why I'd rather be called stern, too strict, than be spineless. So let me say, the idea, someone will go strike and not carry nobody, right, and block up road and all kind of things, chase one out of car, right, because they can't get the amnesty where them want, for the ticket them where them get, is absurd. And no amount of noise couldn't make me give in to that and give in to those demands. But I would also never right, give me a gun amnesty. Because if you're going to be lenient with illegal gun, people are going to expect you to be lenient for traffic tickets. Learn to make bold decisions and stand by it. Enter and then make any decision that sounds even remotely strong and then get any kind of way them throw in a concession. So this is why politics is not for me. Because even as it relates to crime, I'm implementing these policies. If the Jamaican public reject these policies, then it's clear you don't want a crime fix. You don't want dead from gunman. So guess what? Here's my resignation. I'll go back to my life. Thank you very much. The idea that a leader must please everyone is simply nonsense. You cannot please everybody. You're going to upset people. Right? You're going to upset some group. In the end, all you have to look at is the results. All you have is the outcomes. That is what I am most concerned with. Outcomes. 
But not for your favorite leaders them are more concerned with populism. Anyway, Patreon squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra squad, see circling. Bless.